What up, YouTube? Back with another video. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell, if you would, please. It'd be greatly appreciated. But as you can see here, I'm in front of the Eyeball Aquarium. I got the Gobi, the Red Tail Cat, uh, I'm sorry, the Red Fin Barracuda, and I got the infamous wolf fish so the reason i'm showing y'all this tank is that i got a new idea for this tank i want to do a, a facelift i want to do a makeover on this tank uh, as you can see those wolf fish let me see if i can zoom in on it for you Let me see, there he is right there. But as you can see here, the wolf fish is, um, he's not as black as he was when I bought him. And that's because of the substrate. So I want that back. I mean, he looked really cool when he was like, it was almost like a jet black. And that was really cool. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to retake this substrate out and put down some some black sand, black substrate. So what I'm gonna do is, is that I'm gonna get these guys out of here. The Gobi likes to hide. He buries himself in the sand whenever the light is on. But yeah, I'm gonna take these guys out and I'm gonna put them over here in the 220. Here's the 220, as you can see, there's nothing else in the 220 but a couple of feeder fish. <laughs> so they about to be lunch here in a minute. So yeah, I'm gonna put those guys over in here. Excuse the glare. Let me get the light turned on. All but yeah, I gotta test the water because I had African cichlids in here. As you all know, unless you're new to the channel. But I put a piece of driftwood in there to, to drop the pH a little bit. It's been in there for a few days now, so I'm going to test the water. Make sure it's okay. Um, for the wolf fish, uh, the goby, and the barracuda because they are soft water fish. So I got to get that together. But this is this will be the temporary home until I get the makeover done on the 150. So the black sand is definitely going in and I believe I already got a background picked out for this, for this tank. And uh, for the most part, this tank is just gonna be for the wolf fish and also the, uh, the goby. Uh, right now, the, the red fan barracuda is getting along in this tank with the wolf fish, but I think that's going to change in a matter of time. Um, so, but I'll try it. But mainly, this tank is going to be for the wolf fish and my goby. So, let's go ahead and start getting these fish out of here. Not so fast. Jeff, test that water first. It's very important that you test the water. Always very important to test this water. That habit cannot be stressed enough. Yeah, that's, that's even more blue than it's on that chart. So before I put these fish over there in that tank, I need to do a water change. So let's do a water change on the 220 real quick.
Okay, so now I got this filling back up with water. Um, from experience, I know for sure it's going to drop my pH. I'm going to still test it, you know, for boo-boos and giggles. But, but this, this is for the dough vibe. But for right now, until we get that makeover done, Wolffish Gobi Barracuda 220. Let's get these guys out of the tank. So here's your Gobi, Barracuda, Wolffish went right over there in that cave. As of now, look like the feeders are safe. It's only a matter of time. They just got to get settled into this tank. All right, that's it, y'all. I'll be back soon. Later.